Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel, Same Pretty of Shay. My name is Chanel and today we're going to go over some more empties. So I have another six months worth of empties. It's not as much as the last video where I did January through I believe June of 2022. So this video is going to be July of 2022 all the way to December of 2022. Um, and I'm filming this in the beginning of January. It's not as many products as then, but I also wanted to add um, some stuff I'm throwing away. So I have like a giant basket just full of expired makeup that needs to be thrown away. I have palettes and lip products. So we're gonna go through all of those. And of course, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and let's get straight into this video. Okay, so I have a mixture of makeup, skincare, and also body care. And I'm not gonna go in any particular order. I'm just gonna start grabbing stuff from the bag because I don't want this video to be too long. So let's just start with the body scrubs. I have like four empty jars. So these are my two from Tree Hut, strawberry and green tea. This one was my favorite. I have one backup left, but this one has been discontinued. I hate when they discontinue my favorite scent. And then this one's a strawberry one. This one was okay. I wasn't too thrilled about the strawberry scent of this one. This one was like very relaxing and calming. This one was so, so good. It smelled like tea. And it just, it just felt like, it was just amazing. Like I don't understand how else I can explain it but this one was definitely one of my top favorites that they ever created and I'm really really sad that they got rid of this one. moving on I have a dove body polish exfoliating body polish in crushed almond and mango butter this one is completely empty and then also I have pretty girl beauty body scrub and this one is the watermelon bliss this one is from a small black owned business on instagram i think this was like my second or third one of this one it's really nice um i don't think i'm going to be repurchasing either one of these because i tried so many body scrubs and honestly nothing beats tree hut in my opinion tree hut has the best scrubs i feel like their scrubs aren't too harsh but also not um they're also not very very weak i don't like scrubs that are very weak and i feel like this one is a little bit weak i feel like it doesn't exfoliate as much as the tree hut but it does smell really really good though okay so next i have my favorite holy grail body butter this is from soap and glory this is the original righteous butter of course i'm going to be repurchasing these i already repurchased them like it's amazing like the best body butter ever it smells so good so it has the original rose and bergamot scent this is their signature scent I can still smell it in the empty container and just oh so so amazing this will be this one from bath and body works pretty as a peach this one is my favorite scent i have two more backups this is the only body wash i get from bath and body works and honestly one of the only body washes i use in general i just love these this is a moisturizing one i don't see this one on the website right now I only see the original shower gel of this for Bath & Body Works and I have that one as well. I love all of them. As long as it's a pretty as a peach scent, I'm like all for it. So that one's definitely going to be repurchased and I also have this one from St. Eve's. Um, this one is the Oatmeal and Shea Butter. I got this one from Target and it's only like $4 and it's a giant bottle. Like it took me forever to go through this. If the camera will focus yeah took me forever to go through this will I repurchase this one I'm not sure like I liked it but I don't feel like it was absolutely amazing and I bought this scent because I wanted something that was a little bit more of like a everyday smell like sometimes i don't want anything fruity or or floral especially if i'm going to go sleep after i just want something relaxing and this one is nice but i feel like if you put too much of this one the scent is like so strong to the point it's like unbearable so you have to be very very um 
careful how much you apply this one in particular. And next, I have four more of the Garnier Micellar Waters. This one is the Vitamin C one, which is my favorite version that they came out with. Finished all of these. I go through these really, really fast, so I always have backups on top of backups. So I actually got some of the jumbo ones because they came out with a new value size of this one. So I got four of those, and I have three more of the regular size bottles. So I will never stop buying this. This one is the best one out of all of them because since it has the vitamin C in it, it does brighten your skin, and it really does work for me. This is really good for taking off makeup, dirt, pretty much anything on like skincare, sunscreen, all that. It's really, really good for that. And I use it like literally every single day, like two to three times a day, and I just apply it on a cotton pad. Okay, so moving on to cleansing balms, I have this one from Clean It Zero, Vanilla Co. This one is the green one, which is the... I think this one's the clarifying one. I'm not too sure. Does it say it? Yes, this is a pore clarifying version. Honestly, they all work the same. The original and this one works exactly the same. I don't see a difference. I love it. Oh, I think I might actually keep the little applicator in case I lose one of mine. But then I'll throw away the rest of it. I mean, recycle it. But it's completely empty. This is the best brand for cleansing balms, in my opinion. Um, I've used these so many times. They're so, so, so good. They're Korean beauty. And I also have Drunk Elephant. This one's actually not completely empty, but I was like, I might as well show it in this video because I'm not going to hold on to this for another six months or three months or whenever I do another update on my empties and project pans because it's literally barely anything left in here. It's literally that. That's it. And that will be gone in like a week anyway. So I just want to show you guys that. Will I repurchase this one? Yes, because I actually do like it, but I will only purchase it on sale. I got this 50% off only because I work at Ulta and we have like additional discounts like every week or every other week on different brands and stuff. So that's why I got it like so cheap. But I feel like for the full price tag, it's not really worth it. Only Honestly, it's only worth it. If you're a person that only really wears face makeup, like you're not really wearing much eye makeup or lip makeup and stuff like that, maybe just like a lip balm or clear gloss or something, because this one takes off face makeup really good. But when it comes to like anything waterproof or any type of eye makeup, mascara, um, eyeliner, eyeshadow and stuff like that, it literally feels like it's just moving the product around and melting it but it's not coming off completely so you'll have like raccoon eyes after the first cleanse and even if you go back with more you still need to take off like your eye makeup with a makeup wipe or some micellar water or something but when it comes to the vanilla co one which is my favorite this takes off everything like nothing there's nothing this can't take off like it takes off literally all my makeup all the dirt off my face, everything. This one, I will give this one like an 8 out of 10. Because really good for the face makeup, just not too good for the eye makeup. Which is not a bad thing because in the claims, it doesn't claim to take off waterproof makeup. And it doesn't claim to take off eye makeup as well. So. Okay, so next, these are the only two lotions that I went through. Body lotions. They're both from Bath & Body Works. So I have White Pumpkin and Chai. And Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. So these were my fall scents. And they're my favorites when it comes to fall scents. So I would definitely repurchase these. Um, at the moment, I have way too many body butters and body lotions. So that's why I didn't buy anything during any of the Bath & Body Works sales. I know their semi-annual sale is going on right now. Kind of bummed that Sweet as a Peach. Yeah, no. Pretty as a Peach isn't part of that sale. It's just more like the holiday and like other scents and stuff. Like select scents that are on sale. Hopefully that one will be added to there, but I feel like I don't want to really buy any fall scents at the moment because we're going to be in spring soon, and I prefer what I have for spring at the moment. But I would repurchase these during the holiday, next um, next holiday. Okay, so next I have the Herbivore Nova. I have three empty bottles. I raved about this during my last empties video. 
but this is what it looks like if you've never seen it before you can pick this up from sephora but i always buy mines on either ebay or macari because it's a whole lot cheaper and of course i always just buy it brand new from a seller still in its box sealed up so um yeah i went through three of them definitely will buy more of these these are actually worth it these retail for 64 dollars and it's so 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 good if you have like hyperpigmentation and dark spots and you need something to brighten up your um, face and fade those dark spots and hyperpigmentation this is definitely for you it has 15 percent vitamin c and turmeric one thing i will say is you have to wear this only in the morning like it says and you have to wear sunscreen on top of it i never leave the house without sunscreen if i'm wearing this underneath so i always like to pair it with my fenty skin hydro visor next i have my fenty skin this is the instant reset overnight recovery gel cream so this is a night cream i have two of them this one is the refill and this is the original packaging i actually have to throw mine away because it's completely broken like if you can see that it's like chipped off all the way to the point that it doesn't screw anymore and here's like one of the broken pieces so this is what happens even though it looks like it's closed it's not because air is passing through it and that's what happened to some of the night cream that's still left in here it used to be like a light pink and now it's like brown so obviously I'm not going to put that on my face so I have to buy another container so I haven't opened my another my other refill mainly for that reason so I have to purchase another one and it's like I want to say like half empty or so and I have two backups so obviously I'm repurchasing these I already have I always have backup of these this is my favorite sunscreen I also gave the super goop unseen sunscreen a try and I really do like it this is a little mini travel size and as you can see it's flattened out it's completely empty i already did repurchase this in the regular full-size bottle which i believe is a 1.7 fluid ounce haven't opened it yet i still kind of like my fenty a little bit more but one thing i like about this one is clear so it doesn't give you like a purple cast or a white cast the Fenty one, if you do not blend it into your skin completely, it can leave a slight purple cast. So you really have to work it into your skin. Um, but yeah, I like both of these and I will continue to repurchase. Um, this one, I already repurchased it. Will I repurchase it for a third time? Mm, I'm not really sure. I'm still liking this one because it has like the skincare benefits. It like works for dark skin. I'm um, sorry. It works for dark spots they both work for dark skin but this one has like benefits for dark spots so i kind of like this one more and this one looks really really good under my makeup but at the same time this one is actually a primer all in one so you can use this for your sunscreen and a primer for your face before you put on your foundation or tinted moisturizer or whatever you're going to be using for the day so i'm going to do perfume next this is the only one i emptied out in the last six months this is the ysl libre I do plan on repurchasing another one of these. This is my second bottle and I hate myself for not buying a big full size jumbo. I think it's like a 3 ounce or 3.3 or 3.4 ounce. Really mad I didn't get that instead because I went through this bottle faster than the first bottle I went through and this is the 1 ounce. This smells so 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 good. It's like that sexy grown woman scent like a very like night out scent. It's really 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 good but i will definitely get another one so i did empty out three concealers this one i used for contour this one was the juvia's place in the number five it's empty it doesn't look like it's empty but trust me maybe you guys can see in the bottom where the formula is like cracked down there but you can kind of see through the bottle a little bit and this one is milani this one is in the shade 170 no sorry 165 deep tan and then i also have the fenty concealer in 410 as well this one's one of my favorites um i love this so much i repurchased it so many times i would definitely repurchase this one i haven't Body. yet concealer and perfect this is a really nice matte concealer it's very full coverage and it reminds me of the fenty one it's just not as thick as the fenty 
but this one's really really good and I already repurchased two backups of this and then for the Juvia's Place one I don't think I'm gonna get another one for contouring I did repurchase one for under the eyes in the shade number 11 and I really like that one but I think for contouring I don't really like contouring anymore I usually just use like cream bronzer and then like set it with a powder bronzer I like rarely ever like probably honestly I never reach for contour anymore I just prefer using bronzer it's a whole lot easier you can be messy with it and it gives you that like nice sun-kissed glow okay so I have two powder foundations the first one is the Fenty in 410 this one is almost completely empty I have to throw mines out because this one is now like hard pan it's like it got wet from like my sponge and from like liquid foundation and stuff so it's like every time I try to scrape off the surface to like use what's underneath it is just not worth it and since that is like all the way in the corners I can't like really put my sponge in it anymore so I would have to literally like pass my sponge around the edges and it's just not worth it so I did repurchase another one because this is like my favorite powder foundation I've ever tried. It works really well on its own and it works really well on top of me. Maybelline Superstay and 355 Coconut. I already repurchased three more of these as backups because they were like really really cheap on Amazon. They were like $4. Unfortunately, all the ones I bought came broken so they did have to like refund me for each one. Well, actually I got refunded for the first one. And then when the other ones came, I just wanted like a replacement <laughs> and the replacements came broken. So I think I only probably paid for maybe like one of them and then the other two were like refunded because obviously they were broken. But this one came like perfect. But now it's empty. There is a little bit around the edges but honestly I'm not really for scraping the edges. Because it's just too much work especially if you're in a rush to like take out that little bit of product. My next product I want to talk about is actually two at the same time. I have these two setting sprays that I finished. One from Benefit. The other one from Morphe. This is a Sour Patch Kids version. It's just their honestly is the exact same continuous setting mist that we all know and love from Morphe. I did already repurchase this and I got it in the Coconut Bliss scent. And this one's almost empty so I might as well put this one in this empties video anyway because this is going to be gone by like the next week or so it's going to be empty there's barely anything left in it and then also the benefit one I already have another backup because I bought this in a value set and I got two of them for about like the price of one with like a discount from Sephora during like one of the VIB sales last year and this is really really nice. I like to go in with um, a hydrating setting spray and then going in with this one on top of it to lock in my makeup. But this one also works really good by itself too and it's actually one of my favorite setting sprays. So next I have one setting powder. This one's from AC Cosmetics. I did already repurchase another one but I got it in a different shade. This one is the original translucent, um, sorry, translucent shade. And I got mine the repurchase in, I believe it's called Medium Beige or something like that. I'll put the name on the screen of the color that I got instead. It's more of like a skin tone color versus a translucent. But this one reminds me so much of, you can kind of, there's like still a little bit of powder in it. But it's kind of like an off peachy white shade. It's not like completely stark white. And it reminds me of the Too Faced Peach Perfect, which was my favorite before it was discontinued. Okay, and this is the only lip scrub that I went through. This one is from Pretty Girl Beauty. I don't think she has any more on her site. And I kind of prefer my ColourPop lip scrubs. This one was... Now it kind of smells weird that there's nothing in here anymore. It doesn't smell like what it smelled like before. But I forgot what flavor this was. I want to say it was strawberry, I think it was strawberry, I don't remember and the inside smells kind of weird now so. And then I also have the Farsali Skin Tune Blur which I picked up on Macari and I bought this like when the brand um, went out of business and now they're back so I would definitely buy another one from them 
this is really really nice a really good primer i feel like this is like one of the only high-end primers i feel that's actually worth it and these are pretty pricey i kind of hope they come back to sephora though and then the only mascara that i emptied out was the maybelline sky high this is the original one it's the washable one in the shade blackest black I did a video on this and I feel like it went viral because it's my most it's my popular most video on my YouTube channel like there's over 43,000 views on it and I'm like very very surprised and thankful to all you guys watching I've gotten so many new subscribers off that video too um, and it's like my most liked video also there's still a little bit left in it but honestly it's a bit dry now and there's barely anything in there so I already repurchased another one so I don't even have to bother with that and then I also have this little face cream from elf it's a mini one from the happy hydration cream with hemp deprived cannabis sativa that's what it looks like it's empty it's a cute little jar I might use the jar for something else so I think I'm gonna keep this Next, I have two different lip balms. Both of them are emptied. Um, this one is from ColourPop. And there's like a little stub left of it. Honestly, I'm not going to finish it because I honestly hate this lip balm. It's like not hydrating, not moisturizing. It doesn't even last on my lips. Like I feel like I have to keep applying and applying layers and layers of it. And it's just too thin for my liking. I like my lip balms to be more on the thicker side and to be like very like um kind of give you that feeling of like when you put body butter on but for your lips. Kind of like a lip sleeping mask like the Laneige. Like I prefer that and I also prefer like my lip oil from LYS that I always get from Sephora. I already bought like two of those. Way, way better. And also I really enjoy um the K Skin lip balm as well. I like that one better. And also the Lano Lips is my favorite lip balm out of all of them. That one and the Laneige and then the, my LYS lip oil are my top three for lip treatments. And then this one is GlossierBalm.com. This is the original one. Really nice. I do like it. The only thing I don't think I'm going to repurchase it for is the fact that it doesn't have an applicator it, you literally have to use your fingertips to apply it, so I don't like that. It's not very, you know, sanitary. I also have this brow pencil from L'Oreal. This one is in the shade... This is my first time I ever bought this in Dark Brunette. Don't think I will repurchase it. I bought it on Amazon. It was like cheap on sale. Honestly, I prefer my Morphe and Benefit brow pencils and also my Juvia's Place brow powder palette so this one's gonna be a no for me but it is okay it's just like it's not the best of the best brow pencils I've ever tried okay so those were all my empties now we're gonna move on to the stuff that I'm decluttering because they are expired okay so moving on to all my expired makeup it looks like a lot but honestly it's not that much I have like a medium ish collection um, the first thing I'm getting rid of is this Patrick Ta um, body oil. You're probably saying like, this is a full bottle, why are you throwing this away? I had this since this first came out years ago. I'm pretty sure this bottle is like 4 years old or more. But it's like separated, the product is separated on the top. If you guys can tell, I don't know if you can see, but it's like clear on the top and then brown on the bottom. There's like some air bubbles in between. And even if you shake it, it still does that. And there's also product that's like stuck in the top there that doesn't move. So yeah, this is to throw. And anyway, I have my Fenty Beauty Body Lava. Anyway, I like that one better. So not getting another one of these. And it took me so many years having this around and not using it. I probably only used this like maybe four times or something. It still smells fine. But then also the nozzle is broken anyway, so... Yeah. I also have this e.l.f. putty primer, acne fighting um, putty primer. I'm throwing this one out because it's like over a year old. And I believe the shelf life on this was... Does it say it on here? 
it says that it expires January 2023 so plus it was longer than a year since I opened this anyway so it's time to throw it away throw it away so I also have the Anastasia brow freeze this one I had for well over the shelf life I think it's only like six months yeah and I think I had it for like a year or more and it's like so gross in there it's almost empty but you can see like the color there and it's dripping I don't know if you guys can see that but it's like melting down and falling it's not a solid product anymore so this is what it looks like if you have it for over a year it doesn't keep its form and then I also have this eyeshadow palette from Anastasia in Prism this is really old I got this when it first came out so this is like maybe five years old or something I did hit pan on a lot of the shades but it's expired and I don't really want to put like expired eyeshadows on my eyes so pretty much I'm getting rid of any palettes that are like over five years old because this is only a shelf life of six months so this should have been thrown away so this is gone I also have this blush palette this one's not old but I want to get rid of it anyway because I kind of replaced it with my Juvia's Place blush duos which I got in volume 5 and volume 4 and then this is the blush palette from Metamorphosis and the cover is like ripped off it's a really beautiful palette vibrant colors but I just don't need that many powder blushes and I kind of prefer the Juvia's Place more so that's what the Juvia's Place looks like next to it and the other Juvia's Place one so I kind of feel like I have similar colors anyway I also so. have this palette from Juvia's Place I'm so sad to give this um to throw this away but it's over five years old I've only hit pan in this shade and this shade is broken it came broken but this was a gorgeous palette also I feel like the formula isn't as good since it's not a fresh palette anymore like the last time I remember using this I believe the matte shades made my eyes irritated so obviously it's time to throw this away okay so next I have this palette from Mocha P Beauty this is their Made Cafe palette another brand on Instagram anime inspired this palette is actually expired but not expired at the same time this is what the color story looks like the lighting is really bright right now okay so those are what the colors look like beautiful gorgeous palette love the color story but the last two times I tried this palette I think it was the last time actually not the last two times because I wouldn't have put it back on my eyes another time but the last time I tried this palette all the shadows I tried were expired like I put them on my eyes and my eyes were like itching and I had to like wash my face off which was very weird because it has a shelf life of two years but I only had it for like a little bit over a year and technically it should still be good for another year or another nine months or so but it's not like so, it's bad next I have actually two Anastasia glow kits but I forgot the other one in the other room and I don't really feel like going to get it so I'm pretty sure you guys know what the sugar glow kit looks like this one is the sun dip glow kit I've had these <laughs> since when these were actually popular I think that was back in 2016 I think and I got them like 50% off for like Black Friday which they still put these 50% off for Black Friday like every single year and the only shade I hit pan on was the bronze shade obviously because it was like the only color that really worked for my skin tone and then I used to use this one as well so these are the only two I used to use these two I would just mix in with the bronze shade a little bit if I wanted a little bit more of a blinding highlight but these are barely touched but it's time to throw this away an empty eyeshadow palette I'm not throwing away the palette I'm throwing away what's inside it so this is actually one of the shades from the sugar glow kit from Anastasia um, that like I said that palette expired I only kept the pink one at first because I really like this color but it's expired and I have other pink um, highlighters now from Fenty so I'm gonna throw this one away and I have this eyeshadow from Morphe, which I had since like 2015. 
So this one's gonna be thrown away too. This is why I don't like singles and why I don't do empty palettes because I never reach for like single eyeshadows or anything like that. I prefer an actual palette. I just don't have the time and honestly I'm too lazy to like grab a single shadow, grab a super shock shadow from ColourPop or something. I ended up decluttering all my ColourPop um, super shock shadows except three. I kept three. All the other ones I sold on my Mercari because they were still good. I just knew I wasn't going to use them. I think I got rid of like maybe 16 or more of those. But yeah, these two are going to be thrown away, but I'm keeping the palette. And the last palette I have, and then we'll go into all the tiny little products. This one was in my project pan, and it's the Jaclyn Hill palette. This is the original formula. This is from the first ever restock. So this is mad old, and the formula is not as good as it used to be. I know in my last empties video, I said the formula was still good. And that video was only posted like a little over a month ago. But remember that video was originally filmed in June. And since June, the formula is no longer good anymore. And I've had this palette for like five years. So this is what it looks like. I'll show you guys that I did hit pan on a couple more shades. And I didn't repurchase it because... As you saw in the last empties video, I bought another palette to replace it from Believe Beauté instead of buying this one because honestly, I only really use like the warm shades and the neutral shades in here. I never really use the colorful shades that often when I first got this palette because I wasn't really into that much color. And when I was, I normally reached for my Juvia's Place palettes. But I really wish they had the original formula of this again. I heard like the new formula is nowhere near as good as this one. But yeah, sadly, I'm finally parting ways with this one. This was like my favorite palette for so, so many years, but it's time to go. It's time to go. Next, I have a concealer from Anastasia. This one is actually empty. Is it? Well, there's a little bit of product still left in here. It's like 90% empty, but it's past the expiration date and it only lasts for six months that's the only thing i don't like but this is my number one favorite concealer i will definitely buy another one i'm just going to finish my other concealers first before i buy another one of these this is in the shade 18. this is amazing if you have dry to normal skin i also honestly think this will work on any skin type as long as you set it like you're gonna be fine it's really really good full coverage very creamy easy to blend it doesn't like dry make your face dry looking or nothing like that this is really really nice so um the reason why i'm saying it's expired is because the last time i put it on my face it felt like a little bit irritated and i had it for like a year and like i said it's a six month shelf life so time to go and it was almost empty anyway i have a couple clear glosses to get rid of this one is from the beauty supply store it's almost empty anyway it's like less than half empty throwing that out i have a couple glosses this one's another clear one from ColourPop. I have two more from ColourPop over here. And the only thing I don't like about the So Juicy Gloss is that they're leaking. That's why I'm holding them like this. They're really sticky. So you have to like have them stored like this way instead of this way or laying flat. So I have Beechwood, Stunting, and Princess Cut. I didn't really use that much from them, but I did did some damage on them though. And these were really nice. I would buy these again, but I already have so many shades in my collection that are very similar. Therefore, I'm not going to buy any more. I'm trying to minimize my lip collection, and I feel like right now I have more than enough. Like, I decluttered my lip collection not long ago, and I think I have like about 70 lip glosses and lipsticks now, when before I had like over 100, like over 120 or something, and now it's like way way better so i'm not trying to buy anymore i also have this juvia's place eye primer in the shade number two this one's like almost empty but like when you squeeze it out a bunch of water comes out and to, it's to the point like literally i don't know if you guys saw that but like water was shooting out of it Ooh, yeah like when you first get this it has like a little bit of water and you have to like shake it but at this point there's like more water than actual product in here so no matter how much I shake it or try to squeeze it out, like, do you guys hear that? 
it's literally water in there there's like no product left there's like a little bit of product in the middle of a bunch of water so i have to buy another one but i have my colored rain eye primers at the moment so i'm just trying to get rid of those first before i buy another juvia's place one and then i have these three glosses from kkw beauty as you can see the formula is separating on these if the camera will focus i don't know if you guys can tell but the formula is separating and it looks really gross as you can see like here and here and you can't really shake them or anything like that i hope she comes back out with her brand because i really do like these glosses they're just expired I have a concealer in here. This is from Too Faced. This one is in the shade Peanut Butter. It's their Peach Concealer. Matte Instant Coverage Concealer. It has like really nice coverage. But if I can open it. Oh my god. You can't see it anymore. But it had like spots in it. So it's time to throw this out. I also have these glosses from MAC. I have Bittersweet, Low Cut, Primordial, and Dangerous Curves. If I was to repurchase one, it would be Dangerous Curves because this is like the perfect nude. But I do have so many nudes in my collection, so it doesn't really bother me throwing them away. Plus, they're expired. These were like the lip glosses I always used to put in my bag for college. And they're like half empty anyway. I am going to put these with the rest of my empty MAC products so I can do the back to MAC program. You can see like the formula is like mixed up and it looks gross. So that one's going to be thrown away. And then I also have this lip gloss from, I think it's called Glitz Up because like the brand's name is kind of like scratched off of it. But I finished like half of it. And I think it's going to be time to throw this away. It smells really good. Don't think I would repurchase it though. And I also have Made by REJ. This is a really nice lip gloss. They're very sheer. Not like what I was expecting. And the applicator is really, really tiny on this. So this one's going to be decluttered. I do have a gloss similar to this already. The same with this one by Signed by Shank. I don't really even know if she's going to be coming back with more products. It's called a lip paint, but it's actually a gloss. And it looks similar to Cinnamon Roll from NYX. But like a little bit lighter. And I also have this one from Glitz and Glamour. This is not a clear lip gloss, but it looks like it. As you can see like right here, all the silver shimmer went all the way to the bottom. So that's my cue to tell me that this is expired and it will not mix or anything like that so the entire formula just separated on me and it's not even like been the one to two years yet so i'm gonna throw this out and i have two glosses from juvia's place i don't really wear these anymore one is from the yami collection and the other one was from the vanessa collection it's like a peachy and a nude lip gloss don't really reach for these and I have other peach and nude lip glosses in my collection so I'm gonna go ahead and throw these out because I do know these been in my collection for a couple of years now I have these two sample lip glosses from Lancome juicy tubes these were like free in like a Sephora order and they're expired I don't know if you guys can tell but like the formula has really separated on these really badly so it's time to throw these out and lastly, I have some glosses from Rosewood Cosmetics. This one's like a blackish lip gloss. Don't see myself using this one. So I did keep the other shades. So I'm going to throw this one out. And then these, all the glosses, they separated. Well, this one's not a gloss. This is actually um, an eyebrow pomade that I need to throw out. It's from like a cheap Alibaba site. But these separated... And like they're no longer the color that they actually look. So like all the pigment went to the bottom if you guys can see that. And then like when you take it out now it's clear. Like this comes off as clear. And do you see like how dark and red and rich that is? 
So yeah, these are all going to be thrown away in the garbage. This one's a nude with shimmer, but it shows off clear as well. So I wanted to show yeah. you guys a little bit more of what I mean. Like this entire thing is clear and then there's only like a hint of pigment in there. And then look at the jar and look at that. Yeah, it's expired. Same thing with that one, it's clear in the lid, but then like the color is different. And the top of the color is actually lighter than what's at the bottom too. Well, that's everything I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is just an overview of everything that I threw out that's empty. I did recycle what I could and then reuse what I could as well. And then this is also... The items I'm throwing away because they're expired. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.